Do you know how much energy is required to sustain a typical football game? And what actually are the units of measurement of this energy? The unit of measurement of nutritional energy is calorie. A calorie represents the energy required to raise 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. An average adult sedentary person usually needs 2500 calories for an ordinary day. But you are a football player and not a sedentary one, right? So you still require 2500 calories for a daily metabolism and activities like breathing, walking and maintaining a stable body temperature. Additionally, a single football game requires extra 1600 calories to sustain its high-intensity running demands. So, as you see, football players need essentially more energy than those who are outside of this wonderful game. Macronutrients we get from food provide us with calories. So, fats, carbohydrates and proteins, they all contain calories. If we take a closer look, we notice that 1 gram of fat contains more calories than 1 gram of proteins and carbohydrates together. Does this mean we need to consume more fats to fulfill our energy demands? The answer is no. The energy obtained from carbohydrates is a special energy and allows us to easily sustain such powerful actions as high-intensity running, sprinting, jumping and shots on goal. That's why carbohydrates should comprise around 60% of football players' diet, whereas fats and proteins make up the rest 25 and 15% accordingly. Ok, that's it regarding football-specific energy intake. See you in a while and thanks for watching!